found this chair in my garage, courtesy of one of the roommates. Less than stable. This is probably due to this plate just being overall not in very good condition, resulting in a bit of a weeble wobble right here. Oh, don't drink that. Loki, don't drink that. Don't drink that. That's where I cool off grinding stuff. Good thirsty dog. So to fix this, the first step is probably to tear this guy out. I absolutely detest this thing. Just bucks and kicks and Using some nice cardboard aided design, I have validated the 2 inch internal diameter and 5 inch external diameter that I made an educated guess on. It doesn't quite work right. I can always shave this down bit by bit by bit by bit. So next up, I just have to turn this into metal. Let's get this did. Sucks. At least it's in focus. This right here is the unglamorous and deathly important part of uh, machining. A good setup can make or break your, uh, your operation. Thanks to Benjamin for donating the uh, clamp set. Pulling is the most ergonomic method of applying force, so whenever possible, try to apply force in a pulling motion. Oh, this feels so dull. I don't know if this is on the diameter. 30 thou cut, no problems. So it's fairly consistently cutting. It's not, it's not consistent. I don't know what it's cutting. After about uh, two hours of this, I've hit my dimension. A lot of uh, tracking what's going on just so that I can get a handle on it. But there it is. I actually managed to do a five thou cut. Uh, it still has some strange behavior. Of course, it bears more experimentation. This guy has some uh, plasma cut bits on it. So I have a uh, high speed steel tool in there because it's going to be a very, very interrupted cut. Uh, I know this thing isn't going to clean up, uh, but I just want it to not, uh, not hit me. Okay, you ready? Moment of truth, moment of truth. Does it 
fit. No, of course not. Where's the adjustment? Oh, and I didn't account for that. Anyway, it doesn't work, um, but that's anticipated. I've made the classic mistake of not giving myself enough allowance in the center ring. It just doesn't seat down on this. And I, of course I knew this was gonna happen. Next step is to do a bunch of grinding on that inner pipe. See if I can pull off this nasty piece of work that's been left on there. So here comes the grinding montage. There it is. There it is. I think that's the ring free. It's truly amazing just how much work it can be to get some piece of crap off. It proved to be utterly impossible to try to level it uh, vertically and then flip it. So clamping it up upside down and then knocking it around until it's square has been a most successful. Well, it ain't beautiful. It looks like there's some issues with oxygen. But I was sort of intentionally running it really hot and puddling it down. Let's see what the underside looks like. Uh, we'll see if it can uh, sort of buff out a little bit. It sends it sits up straight. A lot sturdier than before. Good job. But unfortunately, while putting tools away, I broke a pipe. 